one. Just one. Well, it is not a very nice day today, but I am off to town and uh, we will see what we get round the charity shops. So, I have just labelled up my parcels and as I said, I am off round the charity shops today. Not a very nice day, so I'm just going to have to sort of dash um, from shop to shop so I don't get really, really wet. But yeah, we'll see what I find. Um, I'm probably hitting up about 10 or so charity shops, maybe a few more. Um, and you never know, we might find some really awesome stuff, so... Yeah, optimistic and uh, let's see what we find. Right, we are in town now and we're just going to grab some boxes before we get off and do the charity shops. My phone battery is really low and I've not got a charger so I don't know uh, when it's going to cut off so I might need to add in some, some segments later on. So I've just come down one of the side streets in Northwich and I didn't know there was another shop down here and it looks like we've just got an uh, entertainer store so I'm going to go in and have a look what I, and see what I can find. This is like vlogging on the edge. I've got less than 10% battery left on my phone. Uh, I've got probably over half of the charity shop still to do. It's nice to see actually that some of these units um, over here are actually starting to get filled up now um, because these were kind of just, sort of just, what's the word, sort of stagnant I suppose. No one was kind of taking them. Uh, no shops were actually taking them up. Um, and it was just that they were laid bare really and just dormant like this one is here, like that there. Um, but it's nice to see that some of them are actually getting taken up by companies now and uh, hopefully there'll, there'll be some more good shops in Northwich again and it'll be pretty cool. Slow day at the car boot? Then you need the Ads Experience hoodie. This hoodie is guaranteed to get you the goods. home and out of the rain so did I strike out at the charity shops today well I didn't I actually got two items um, I kind of went there quite optimistic then on the way there I realized that I had 19% left on my phone and I thought great I probably won't be able to scan any books or anything like that so part of my kind of sourcing strategy was out of the window as I obviously normally I use my phone quite um, excessively to scan books and DVDs and all the rest of it for Amazon. But I needed to conser conserve the battery for filming so I could only like scan very briefly. But the other side of my strategy for sourcing is, you know, looking at antiques and things like that and collectibles and, you know, just general toys and games that I don't necessarily need my phone for. 
So I was looking around and I didn't really find that much for whatever reason. Sometimes there's just not that much there. But as I say, I did get two items, so I will share those with you now. So first off, I didn't think this would be worth going on, to be honest. But I thought I would uh, very, very quickly search it and uh, see if uh, it was worth picking up. Because I didn't want to leave it behind. Um, and it's this brand new uh, Disney Photo Mosaics. Now, I've seen these around loads. Um, and as I say, they're generally not worth picking up, really. Uh, this one was £3. As I say, brand new and sealed. And, uh, yeah, it, there was one that was a 550-piece one that's gone for a tenner on eBay on Complete and Solds. This one is a 1,000-piece one. So I thought I'd probably be able to get about 14 99 plus my postage for that. So that's what I'm going to whack it on at. And I paid £3 for that one there. And then the only other thing I got was this brand new and sealed uh, BBC DVD Porridge for Complete Collection box set. And this was stickered up at a pound. Now, in the charity shop that this was stickered up at, to be honest, all the charity shops in Northwich are, they're kind of infamous for pricing, you know, sealed stuff quite, um, you know, quite highly. So, normally, this would be stickered up at, like, five, eight, ten pound or whatever, something like that, minimum five quid, something like that. But, uh, yeah, a pound, so whoever was pricing that day, um, obviously, maybe they were new or whatever and didn't get told what... Uh, necessarily they would like things priced at um, but yeah pound and I scanned it into Amazon very quickly I had 2% left on my phone it was crazy um, and it's going for 20 quid on Amazon so a pound into 20 quid really really happy with that one nice little margin on that one um, so yeah nothing spectacular today sometimes that's how it goes but still uh, nice little bread and butter bits and at least I got something at least it wasn't a completely wasted trip and I got out and about as well which which is always nice so yeah i will leave it there for that whole video guys i won't uh, ramble any longer i won't keep you any longer um i will be back with another video very soon i am sure i've got a load of uh, bits on my bed here to actually do a whole video for so uh, yeah i'll be back with probably another whole video or something very soon and yeah i will see you in the next one so see you very soon guys i'll give you what i got the alcohol of that is flowing wild so grab yourself a can of mine